It is June 6, 2020. We're here at 640 Albion Street in San Diego, California, 92106. We're here on the side of the house, um, off the garage side. We have our four inch ABS sewer clean out right here. So we're gonna go to inspect the lines. We have a full bathroom on this side of the house and then we have a half bath and a one and three quarter bath uh, right past this. There are three bathrooms upstairs, the master more above vertically where we're at right now. So those will all dump into the system. As you can see here, we're going to have a bunch of T-junctions we're going to go by where everything's going to dump in. The utility sink, the laundry, and then the continuation of all the bathrooms. So this is all new plastic four inch ABS pipe. So it's either built this way or upgraded. It is not cast iron. So this is good, this is what you want to see. There's no sags or bellies to the line, uh, which would be holding water and would show improper slope. So, so far everything looks perfectly good. Another T-junction there. Here we have a turn on the line, looks like a 45 degree turn. Another sweep and then you can see all these big T-junctions here so again these are going to pick up all the other bathrooms so all the piping is plastic now sometimes on a two-story home uh, coming down the vertical walls where these other T's here come in from the top uh, sometimes those inside the walls from the second floor to the first will be made of cast iron um, and that's due to uh, sound deadening um, purposes so that when somebody is using or flushing you don't hear it echoing down the walls when you're sitting in the downstairs living areas so that would be the only typical time we'd see it inside. So we've got some a little bit of scale and build up right here on the line. Um, you can see this is also where we've got a couple T junctions. So uh, this could be um, possibly the kitchen. It could be a lot of fat and grease accumulated over the years. We'll pull back and locate to see where this is at to see that it's inside the home or if it's outside. It appears that where we're at with these other T junctions, we're probably still inside the home. Typically, the only reason you'd see that much little buildup like that would usually be fat and grease and food debris from a kitchen. Not many other things would contribute to that other than wipes from a toilet um, and then things accumulating around it. But um, we'll check where it's positioned at. So we'll write it about the 49 and a half foot mark from this clean out. We'll come back and locate that. Again, all still newer 4 inch ABS pipe here. No issues still. Another vertical T junction there, possibly picking up the other, again, the upstairs bathrooms. Okay, so we either have a repair or a little offset when it was put in with possibly instead of glue a fern code joint. So you can see a slight misalignment of the pipe. You can see the wall thickness of the pipe on top there, kind of looks whitish in color. That's the outside edge. And then as we go into here, it just kind of drops down the camera just a little bit. Um, so you can see that either it was something was cut into, um, maybe not a repair, but just when it was put in and then they had to readjust something. So as we go forward, and you can see we have this little mini lake of water so it's not draining out properly because then you can see going forward you can see that same lip now on the edge of this repair or, or t-junction that was either put in or modified before the slab was poured assuming it's inside the home um, it's very minor though so these are the sags and bellies we were referring to um, so you can see our camera actually hits the lip of there so um, the house is lived in though so um, we're not seeing obviously any feces or paper accumulating or building up right there at that junction. Um, and it's going to be connected at just again offset because of how it was probably undone and then put back together with a rubber boot. Um, and then sometimes when they backfill and tamper over the top it gets pushed down because they didn't properly support when they did this little cutout. So not a big deal, a uh, very small issue. Um, but. That's there at about 73 and a half feet. We're gonna jump over that right there. Okay, we'll continue down the line.
still all four inch ABS plastic pipe. Just a little bit of debris on the bottom there. Okay, so now we're coming up to another area that's holding a bunch of water and we can see some either wipes or toilet paper or other debris collecting right here where we had this little lake of water again. Um, we do see a clean alignment from this plastic. It does look like we're transitioning, about to transition into cast iron. So we're probably obviously outside the foundation wall of the house or close to it. Um, so sometimes this will happen um, in cast iron even if the alignment's done right, which it appears to be here. As we Kind of come up and back from it to really clean off our lens here. But what happens is on cast iron, you get a lot of scale and deposit and buildup that accumulates on the inside walls of the pipe, and especially on the bottom. So when you're making a transition, um, it creates a little damming effect like this of a little pool of water hanging out, not because it's misaligned like that little section of ABS plastic was at the 49 and a half foot mark, but because there's just natural buildup in there. So the plumbers and contractors are supposed to go ahead and take a carbide tool of any type and kind of ramp and clean that bottom first edge when it meets the cast iron to the ABS so it kind of eliminates more of that as a smooth transition. So you can see right there we just went across and you can see a bunch more debris up. Now we're out about a hundred feet right now and um, without running water with the amount of turns we've made we're probably gonna have to switch cameras to one that can push out a little bit farther distance through this rough buildup and again you can see a bunch of paper and things that are getting uh, slowed down and building up right there so we're gonna go ahead and push forward to this junction because we wanted to locate it anyway to mark it so we'll see if this is outside the house or inside so we're gonna go ahead and pause the video okay so we've located this area in the front yard um, this is about two feet um, into the yard on the other side of the retaining wall and so the pipe is about three feet deep right here and we've got it marked with a little green yellow flag up front that denotes plastic to cast iron the transition and the depth of about 35 inches so again you can see all that paper that's a little bit mounted up there in that constant little lake or pooling of water it's not draining out so back up here just a little bit uh, show this so um, because of all the distance we've run again as we mentioned we couldn't push past this point so we actually have another camera we're going to put in so we're going to leave this camera right here just for right now and we're going to go ahead and pause the video while we switch to a second camera okay so you can see our push rod of the first camera we've got the second one we push most of the way out we're coming back to the end of the plastic there's the front of the camera head from the other one so here's that little lake and pool of water that's hanging out there and now we're gonna push through this hopefully and get the rest of the way out past this cast so you can see we're kind of dragging some of that paper and debris when we come back uh, unless there's some other heavy stoppage here we'll see what else we have okay so here's the transition we just kind of pushed through that debris, so there was quite a bit of buildup in there. We'll see when we come back if there's any other issue. So here is the property line clean out uh, that was installed by the city. So this is called PVC green bell pipe. Uh, this is where the cast iron's ending. There is a clean out cover, just like the one we were here on the side of the house, all the way um, on the uh, street edge before you get to the little retaining wall to the front yard. So this is the white fitting right here with the vertical T that they put in. And then here's the green pipe with some turns and fittings. So this was a street was all dug up and they put all new plastic pipe in here. So we've got only a few more feet probably before we ended this lateral line for this house and it tr dumps and transitions into the city. Uh, but it depends on where the street where the line is. If we have to go to the middle of the street or all the way across almost. but. Here's the turn right here, and here's the dump. So you can see that is the huge pipe. So we're out about 131 feet from this clean out to where the end of this house's lateral line is. And so this is all new pipe in the street as well. All the neighbors are, are running water. That's the water you see on the bottom for the other houses. That's the shared pipe, that's the city line. So now we're gonna go ahead and back up through this line. See some paper and debris that we pushed and pulled out there. So we're going to come back up here and see what this 
pipe looks like and the cast iron. We may have to run a bunch of water to get it kind of cleaned out depending on what's there. We don't know if there's a root intrusion, just heavy buildup from the old rough cast iron or what's going on. So that's the little turn. And here's the cast iron. So this cast iron runs from about, again, two feet into the front yard. And we'll move our camera out to above ground and shoot it like a video camera so you can see this area we're referring to where we've marked everything. Um, this right here where we're at, where the cast iron ends, is um, just basically um, in front of the retaining wall when you're in, in the street. And as we back up here, you can see this is a couple feet of rough cast iron. And we've got some the heavy buildup right there. And there's our little transition back into plastic. There's the original camera. So I'm going to push right here. We've got that other debris. It looks like this is probably just a wipe or a paper towel. Um, so don't see any roots intruding or anything like that, which is the good news in this little section of cast iron. So as you can see, we're right at about 105 feet. As we back up here, There's the plastics. Let's move back forward again. A little bit hard because of all that water that's hanging out here. So again, it's about a three to four foot run to cast iron pipe. We're gonna go ahead and pause the video for one second. We're gonna run a bunch of water down the line and see if this kind of cleans up a little bit. Okay, so we've run a bunch of water through some fixtures and flushed all the downstairs toilets once. And so uh, you can see a little bit of running water that's still going through there. So again, there's a little mini ramp um, that's there for the transition um, from the ABS to this cast iron. And then we kind of come out. We got all the paper and debris that was backed up there moved out of the way. So... We run these three feet or so, and then we go to the plastic green bell PVC that was put in. So, as we back up here, the water's slowing down. We get a kind of crystal clear view of the line. So this one little section was left. Um, don't see any roots growing in it. Uh, it's just very rough, of course, which you'd expect cast iron. Um, so unless it was recently cleaned out. So again, you can see it's just about three, three and a half feet of pipe just, and that's what was left in the line. There's our other camera that we first went through. So go through this one more time here. We just want to triple check that we're not seeing any root intrusion or anything else. So we have a pretty good alignment, as you can see, of course, right here to the green bell PVC when the city's contractor put this in. As we back up here one more time, just really rough pipe. So um, uh, obviously with that little bit of lip or ramp that uh, the transition has to make and the rough scaling of the cast iron, which is why we don't like to ever use cast iron anymore, um, is that it kind of slows everything down, acts like a gritty sandpaper, kind of catches things. Um, and then again, of course, because we have this little pool of water um, right at the transition, that kind of slows things down a little more. So right here, it's just some rough edges. There's definitely no roots that I can see growing in the line. And again, here's that little pool of water. So that's what slows things down. So just like when we first put the first camera in, you saw that white paper mounted up just on the other side of here. It's because it gets slowed down. The liquid can get through no problem, but other stuff having to go uphill um, and then get rough uh, pipe edges will kind of snag it and hold it in place. So um, does not need any repair at this time um, unless somebody's overly concerned about this slight little area right here. Um, but um, we'll go ahead and move our camera to the front and show where this is at on the property. But other than that, everything in the house is in perfect condition. It's all newer pipe, so it doesn't require anything like uh, repair or maintenance at this time. Now we are going to go ahead and pull back um, to the 50 uh, foot range mark or so where we had all that build up. We assume that's the kitchen line or some other dump in, maybe even from an upstairs. Um, so we'll pull back and locate that really quick. So we're going to pause the recording. 
Okay, so we turned the kitchen sink on and you can see that's where the water is in fact coming down from. So this pipe on the main sewer where this four inch pipe has this two inch T-junction vertically dropping in, this is in the office study room that's right next to the kitchen essentially. And um, that's where the kitchen line dumps into to drop into the main. And um, so again, that's why we're definitely seeing all that stuff. That is all the food and grease and other product that gets dumped down a disposal and kitchen sink over time so uh, the main sewer again is is you know um, not an issue you always could have local stoppages within a shower stall the tub a sink or a kitchen because all the individual things that go down these little pipes before they dump into this big main so that's definitely what you're seeing right there so over time basically we have to go ahead and on occasion um, snake uh, hydrojet or chain knocker to clean out all that buildup out of the line. So we're going to go ahead and pause the video again. We're going to double check to see if there is a clean out um, on the outside wall of the kitchen uh, where the sink is facing uh, the front of the property or if you would have to go under the sink. Okay, so we have verified there is no clean out for the kitchen. So um, nothing on the exterior wall outside and nothing under the kitchen sink you could utilize for a jetting or chain knocking, uh, which are the best two systems to clean out heavy buildup out of a kitchen line. Only a regular snaking cable is going to probably be able to make it through. Um, it's possible a flex shaft chain knocker system might get through, but it's going to be really rough. Um, so basically, though, there is a crawl space under that part of the house and the home homeowner says it's accessible from the garage so um, you can see the pipes from the vents that are there that go into the crawl space you could always add a Y junction a T into the line and bring that over to one of the vents on the front of the house there under the kitchen window and put a clean out in if you started to get a lot of stoppages um, and it needed to be cleaned out um, in a, the best manner or just even more often because of the, what's being put down there so we can't get a camera through there to see if it needs anything right now as far as everything that was put in. But it is all newer plastic, so that is a good thing. So uh, we're going to go ahead and pause the video and pull these cameras out. And we'll go ahead and show the one section of cast iron that's in the front yard. That's a very a slight concern, doesn't need anything big. But just so everybody knows that that will be the one area that in the future may require some type of uh, cleaning on occasion or repair. Okay, so we moved to the front yard. We just want to show this area that the original cast iron is. So you can see there's the house. Come across this big tree that was planted here. And then right past the tree, about a foot and a half, you can see our green yellow flag. And so this denotes right here where the plastic dash cast iron, that's where it converts from the plastic to the old original cast iron. It's 35 inches deep. And so this is right about, again, a little over two feet in front of the retaining wall. It runs under the retaining wall. And then as we go over the side here, here's that city clean out that their contractors put in within a foot of the retaining wall. So um, just a little bit before that, under the retaining wall and up to this flag, that's where the cast iron pipe is for about that three three and a half foot and it's about three feet deep and, and you got a lot of heavy roots in the way so um, again we're not saying anything needs to be done on the line at this point in time um, if only feces toilet paper and food products are put down the line it's relatively unlikely it would ever have any main sewer blockages because of that but there's a slight glitch in the line so if something does get put down like feminine wipes any flushable wipes which are really not flushable um, you could get stoppages due to this little area but it's not an area of concern that we're recommending any type of um, work be done at this point in time and that concludes the recording for this property